Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. Recently, we released an entire truckload of new components, bringing with it multiple truckloads of new possibilities. I'm talking, of course, about our collaboration with Microelectronica and their line of over a thousand MicroE click boards. We released the MicroMod Microbus Carrier Board to allow you to combine the modular capabilities of our MicroMod and Quick systems with MicroE's Microbus Click system, with the STM32 being the only fully compatible processor for that setup at this point. However, that does not mean that that's the only way that you can utilize both of these systems. There's another small company, uh, Raspberry Pi, and they've released an RP2040. You may have heard of it. Well, that is also a way to utilize the vast array of click and quick boards. And to that end, we've released this, the new SparkFun RP2040 Microbus Development Board. The processor here, of course, is Raspberry Pi's RP2040, with two, count them, two ARM Cortex M0 Plus processors and all the other amazing features that you know and love. Supporting both C, C++, and MicroPython cross-platform development environments with easy access to runtime debugging, the RP2040 boasts 264K of embedded SRAM in six banks with six dedicated I.O. for SPI flash. It also has 30 GPIO, programmable for extended peripheral support, with four 12-bit ADC channels. The board itself, designed in the familiar Thing Plus or Feather PTH pin layout, has an additional 16 megabytes of flash memory above and beyond that on the RP2040. There's a JST single cell battery connector with an onboard charging circuit and fuel gauge sensor, an addressable WS2812 RGB LED, JTAG PTH pins, a micro SD card slot, four mounting holes, and of course, a quick connector and a microbus socket. Modular connectivity is the name of the game here, and with this board, you can swap out click boards and quick peripherals in just seconds. Now, while there are multiple ways to program the RP2040, for this board, we suggest using the Arduino IDE. Additionally, we would also recommend using click boards that already have existing and compatible Arduino libraries. I mean, certainly you can branch out beyond that, but you're going to have to write your own libraries for it. And maybe that's the next challenge you're looking forward to. Anyway, keeping all that in mind, it's actually really simple to get up and running with this board. Here we've got a microwave weather click. It uses the Bosch BME280, a great little environmental sensor. Now, all you need to do is insert it into the microbus socket. Then make sure you've got the SparkFun BME280 library installed, the correct board and port chosen, open up the BME280 example one, basic readings, and you're almost ready. We just need to add a couple of lines. We need a while not serial loop to allow the RP2040 to sync with the terminal emulator. After that, we need to change the I2C address, since the address of the weather click is not the same as that of the SparkFun boards that utilize the BME280. But once that's done, you're good to go. Upload the sketch, open a serial monitor, and you've got incoming data. Or maybe you want to display your data on an LCD screen. That's just a quick connector away. As are over 80 other quick boards, and there are over a thousand click boards for your microbus socket. So tap into modular expansion your way with MicroE and SparkFun. Pick up the new SparkFun RP2040 Microbus Development Board over at sparkfun.com. And remember, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. And their Microbus Click Quick System Board Click Quick. What are they called? Click boards. <laughs> We're quick, they're click. Now we released the Micromod Microbus Carrier Board to allow you to, to utilize, ah. Now we released the Microbus Micromod, nope, other way, Micromod Microbus. I'm talking of course about, what am I talking about? Our collaboration. <laughs> <laughs>